Good evening to one and all present in this meet. I am Shubham Prajapati from IT branch, third semester. I have made my presentation on the topic Carbon Capture for Sustainable Environments. So let's get started. In the first slide, I have shown a graph which tells about the data of implementation of carbon capturing technique in different industries. This data shows that very less number of industries has adopted this technique. Now the question arises: what is carbon capturing? It is a technique where carbon dioxide is captured or separated from industrial release before it is mixed with atmosphere and the captured carbon dioxide is stored in a large amount. Now here are some techniques to capture carbon dioxide. Number one, membrane gas separation. Two, oxy fuel combustion. Three, absorption. Four, cryogenic separation. Fifth, calcium looping. Sixth, multi-phase absorption. After capturing CO2, it must be transferred to storage sites. It is transported in pipelines. Pipelines are the best way to transport captured CO2, but for infeasible places, for example, two land bodies separated by ocean. So in that case, ships are the best way for transport of captured CO2. Now let's come to the carbon sequestration or carbon capture storage. CCS. Now, there are mainly four ways in which captured carbon can be stored. First, geological storage. In this, CO captured CO2 is injected into underground geological formation. Number two, enhanced oil recovery. CO2 is injected into an oil field as an enhanced oil recovery technique. Number three, algae and bacteria. CO2 can be physically supplied to algae or bacteria that could degrade the CO2. Number four, mineral storage. CO2 can exothermically react with metal oxides, which in turn produce stable carbonates. Now, let's come to retention and leakage of captured carbon. Number one, long term retention. CO2 is stored in underground sites. So it is very important to that site will remain, will retain the CO2 for long time. Here is an example that Norway's Lipner's gas field is the oldest industrial scale retention project. Number two. Sudden leakage hazards. Transmission pipelines may leak or rupture. So it is necessary to do maintenance once in a three to four weeks and have remotely controlled walls, which will re release quantity to one pipe section. There was a accident occur in 1953 Manzanin Garben mining accident in which several thousand tons of captured carbon dioxide were released and anxified a person 300 meters away. Now here comes the topic, main topic related to sustainable environment, carbon captured and utilization. In this topic, CCU is the process of capturing carbon and recycling the recycling the captured carbon dioxide. The captured carbon dioxide is used to uh, produce products like plastic, concrete and biofuel. But this technique is very expensive. So we have to think uh, for the raw materials and products before investing in CCU. 
here i have shown the main diagram which shows the major difference between ccu and ccs in the upper section of this diagram you can see that uh, utilization in which uh, ca captured carbon is converted into carbon neutral fuels chemical synthesis carbon mineralization and algae cultivation in the lower section you can see the captured carbon is stored underground in geological formation or used in enhanced oil recovery so now at the end i can say i will i want to say that as co2 is becoming more and more dangerous for humans and environment so it is our responsibility to protect us and environment carbon capturing technique is very good technique for sustainable development but this practice has to be done by taking safety measures and many precautions thank you everyone